Okay, question number one. Is there any case that where you still do conventional impression? Well, as you can see in the pictures above, um, from single implant cases to uh, lateral uh, distal cases to full arch cases, we never do uh, traditional impressions anymore. We use techniques, some described described in today's webinar and also we have some some uh, tricks that we are going to share uh, finally in the next ones but as you can see here everything is done with uh, fully digital workflows and uh, the results are uh, during these last years are um, passive and uh, without complications so i am uh, confident that what we are sharing is going to help you out and have uh, great cases mm -hmm. Question number two, how do you set a new VD for those who have lost their VD? So for uh, these kinds of patients, uh, we either do uh, wax rims uh, or uh, wax rims equivalents in the digital workflows. As you can see here, this is done in Medic Design. We printed this, we added some, uh, some wax on top and we registered. Then after determining the, the byte, we just registered bilaterally, but um, in uh, the last uh, few months, we have uh, actually jumped to a new technique. Uh, this technique is provided by the MOD Institute uh, and uh, Wally was so kind to share this with the community. And as you can see uh, on the left, uh, using a gorge, uh, the actual dimension of the, of the relationship is determined. And then we are using a fox plane that we print. And um, on this fox plane, we mount a plane that also contains the um, uh, intercanine region as uh, little veneers so that we can determine how much of the teeth we see from the of under the upper lip. Uh, this is then going to be placed inside the mouth with uh, impression materials first for the maxillary then for the mandible. And uh, the planes are going to help us out tremendously because we can set the plane correctly, seeing outside the mouth what is happening inside. And also, uh, this, is, uh, this is going to allow us to get the interrelationship uh, of the two jaws. Then we, uh, we are also doing the mandible. As you can see, this works for the dentate, uh, dentate uh, with a dentate, so uh, one arch is uh, a denture. Uh, and the other uh, arches with teeth, or also works for both arches when uh, teeth are missing. And in the end, uh, with uh, these impressions taken, we can match the intraoral scans to this um, interrelationship that you can see here that we also scan. And uh, we have uh, we have the ability to also do smile design with this technique. So I do encourage you to uh, look it up. It's it's a very nice and predictable technique. What's the name of this system again? Uh, this is provided by the MOD Institute as a free resource. You can find it online on their, their webpage. You just Google up MOD Institute and there everything is explained. You have tutorials and also the, uh, the files needed to print this system. So it's, it's very fast and very easy to do. I really, really like it. In, in the past two months, I, I'll be... Um, I used it and I am content with it and also I am hopefully going to present it in a future webinar. Then uh, do you need to have the printer to print this system? Uh, you have, uh, you uh, should have a printer in your clinic, but if you don't, any digital lab in your area uh... can print files for you. So yes, you, you are going to need to print some files for this but it's really easy to do. And the Fox plane is reusable. So you, because um, that tray that you see inside the mouse, uh, you just use once for every patient. So you have to print it every time and then you throw it away. But uh, the plane oh. is uh, reusable. So you print it once and use it for all the patients because it doesn't get inside the mouth. Is it reliable and predictable, you think? Yes, in my hands and the Wally's hands, it seems uh, to give very good results. He is uh, much more uh, proficient with it and already does uh, full dentures uh, in one, uh, one session. So one or maximally two sessions, jumping from the six needed in normal dentistry and analog dentistry to go to the digital workflows and only have maximum 
two of two sessions is is incredible. This system seems very interesting and it will be very helpful for those who have some concerns about uh, setting the new VD. Okay, question number three. Um, how do you scan when scan bodies are too close to each other? So we when we have uh, two scan bodies, like you see on the left, this happened and um, the, the, there is no solution in analog dentistry. Uh, in the digital workflow, you scan one uh, scan body, then you block it and then uh, you scan the second scan body too. For this to uh, be possible, first you'll have to have the scan bodies with the scannable part, with the library part, uh, facing a different facing a different direction that the uh, that the first one does. And also you have to have some landmarks, as you can see on the left. There are a lot of these. So you, when you um, remove the first scan body and place it in the same scan body is placed in the second implant, you still rely on uh, the landmarks like the set piece here to be able to get a good position of it. But when you have a full arch like you have on the right, there this is a problem because you have no landmarks there mm -hmm. uh, and you have to actually modify the scan body a little bit. I used, in that case, I used the burr and just cut out a, a small part of the scan body where it was touching the other one. So it was able to fit passively, to, uh, to fit the arch passively. You can also try and do two scans, one with, uh, as you see there, there are six implants. So we can do the first scan with five implants and not mount the six scan body and then do a second scan with uh, that scan, the other scan body placed on the second implant in, and then overlap the scans. There is, this is also a possibility. It means you take twice scan twice. Yes, we scan uh, these areas twice and then in medic design we superimpose the two scans. Mm, I see. Okay, thank you for explaining very easily. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hope it helps. Yeah. So, okay, that's all about our keys that are prepared. Okay, thank you for being here, Dr. Bogdan. My pleasure, Jenny. It was uh, such a nice, uh, such a nice opportunity to arches, and we're uh, we're going to share more and more information during the, the next uh, webinars. And hope everybody is happy with it. And uh, it was a pleasure seeing you guys. Hope to have you on board for the next one. It was such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for being here, Doctor. Bye. Bye.